Race two. It's the international hurdle. It's a great two event over two miles and a furlong here at Cheltenham. And the runners are as follows. Duke of Finsbury for Paul Rhodes. Two is another pearl for David Hooley. Battle Meteor and BN Glenboy for David Robertson. Evelith Carter for James Shea. Great debate for Leon Van Rensburg. Lukakis for Stu Gray. Culver Beach for Darren Thompson. Houston Una for Vinnie Gerard. And Spectacular for Joshua Sutherland. Ten of them. Over two miles and a furlong here. A racing. As we settle down, we approach the first of the eight flights they have to take. It's the grey battle meteor that rises first. A couple of slow jumps at the rear by Colver Beach and Lukakis. This battle meteor that leads us. A couple of lengths from a pack of well held up horses. Let this David Robinson horse go off on his own. We come down to the second. It's Battle Meteor with a 4 5 length advantage now. And, uh, a pack of horses just being led by another pearl in the purple suits of David Hill, Black Horse. Into the second. Oh, and the leader, Battle Meteor, decided to jump it a couple of yards before he got there. Certainly didn't uh, size that one up. So they go off uphill now. Go out for a circuit. Still battle meteor from uh, up against the fence in uh, Dennis the Menace Silks, a spectacular, and Josh Sutherland. Just on the outside of that is Edith Carter in the green silks, red cap. Wider still is another pearl. Wider that is Leon Van Rensburg's great debate. Dark blue silks, yellow cap. Just on his outside is Cold Beach. I was going to say Mr. Robertson. But it's not Mr. Robertson's horse, it's Mr. Thompson's horse. And then we've got a grey between those, which is Duke of Finsbury for Paul Rhodes. Blue silks, blue cap, looks like white sleeves. Followed through by the second uh, Hooley horse of another pearl. Good jump there by Bien Glenboy, jumped himself into the pack, but the leader's still out on his own. He's taking a keen hold now. And towards the rear we've got Lukakis. So as they go over the fifth, only three hurdles to take. Just over a mile as we get to the top of the hill here. First point of the course here at Cheltenham. Still climbing steadily uphill. And it's Battle Meteor that still leads us by about three lengths to Duke of Finsbury. He's taken second on his own now. We've got another Pearl, Colver Beach, Great Debate, Edith Carter. Spectacular. Slow jump there by the Glen Boy Lukakis didn't get over it particularly well. As they start their run downhill now. Three quarters of a mile still to go, and it's Battle Meteor that still leads from Duke of Finsbury in second. The Edith Carter on the fence is third, moving up well is spectacular. And we've got a great debate. Wider still is Culver Beach. We've got another Pearl with nowhere to go, got himself a bit blocked in. Moving up on the fence is Houston Una for Vinnie Gerard, and the all green silks, dark green sleeves. Followed through by Bien Glenboy and Lukakis, now getting a little bit detached to the back by about three or four lengths. So as we come down to the final half mile, it's still Battle Meteor that leads, but here come the chasing pack as they go over the penultimate. It's Battle Meteor, but out wide here comes Bien Glenboy. So again, one two for David Robertson with Bien Battle Meteor and Bien Glenboy, but it's Battle Meteor that's got the fence to help him as we come inside the final three. It's Battle Meteor from Bien Glenboy. Running on well now is Houston Una, Duke of Frinsbury out wide is another pearl pushing through again is Colver Beach, the ones that are again a bit caught for Toa, spectacular, even with Carter and great debate, but it's Battle Meteor going to be challenged by his stable mate, Bien Glenboy, on the wide outside is Houston Una, and it's Houston Una that takes it up inside the quarter mile, fighting back is Bien Glenboy, Bien Glenboy, Houston Una as they get to the last, they both take it well together, Bien Glenboy, Houston Una who's got anything left as they start to go uphill inside the final furlong, and it's Houston Una that seems to nose in front from Bien Glenboy on his inside, running out of the back is Duke of Finsbury, I don't think they're going to catch this Houston Una and it's Houston Una by a length from Glen Bien Glenboy Duke of Finsbury is third spectacular as fourth Cover Beach is probably fifth and Cock is coming in last there so it's a win there for Vinnie Gerard picks up a grade two international hurdle here with a Yuma wins it comfortably in the end Houston Una takes it from Bien Glenboy in second Duke of Finsbury for Rhodes was third Fourth was spectacular, Joshua Sutherland, and fifth was Culver Beach for Darren Thompson.